Johnny Rage. He hasn't been seen in the PWA ring since November 26th. He doesn't like anybody. He takes that Mr. Hughes approach. It's uh, kill or be killed. There are no friends. Only enemies. Hey, he's exactly right. He don't need friends like y'all. Oh, like us. Yeah, like you. Cobra, who'd you come here with tonight? I come by myself because I don't like nobody. Uh, I, had some line with you. I, I didn't want nobody in the same car with me. Uh, I'm sure that thing was Ladies and gentlemen, his tag team partner. Have peace with myself. Savannah, Georgia. Johnny Ray. Two of these men will be the final entrance in the battle world. Once again, this oh, match no is set for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. The winner of this match will advance on to Battle Bowl. It's not Tony's choice to ride alone. He can't pay nobody enough to ride with him. You're right. I don't. When I get out of somebody's car, the first thing I ask them how much they owe me. <laughs> Action Mike Jackson up on the ring bell out here. That's uh, a jack of all trades. Maybe he's scouting for Battle Bowl, seeing two of his final opponents here. Well, as long as you let him stay over there, and I won't have to slap him, because it gets too close, I'm going to give him something to, to learn before he gets slapped that Alabama hat off his head. I think he was just hiding from his tag team partner from earlier. Wouldn't you? Yes, sir. She doing the clown two, taking the care of Aries. Nice drop kick by Dorn the clown number two. A child favorite. Unless, of course, your child is one who is scared of clowns. Or if you're our producer, Patrick Glory. Hmm. Is that a fact? Yeah. He and Dorton the Clown have bad blood. They have beef? Yeah. Major beef. Ooh. Patrick Lowy and Dorton the Clown do not like one another. There's a, uh, a tag from Dorton too to Johnny Rage. Nice arm drag by Johnny Rage. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Turned him inside out on that bat body drop. Handspring by Johnny Rage catches him with the elbow. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Goes over for a two count. Does not hook the far leg at all. Right to the eyes. And throws that reads back down with the arms right takedown. It's Johnny Rage. And Dorton the Clown up to the Summer Fish shenanigans is in ring number one. Cheering on what his teammate. Going for the tag here. Now why would Doink the Clown be in ring one running a tag? Get away from your partner here. That's running net breaker by Johnny Rage. On Aries. Got one hand down, only gets a two count. Rage, not a fan of theatrics here by Dwayne the Clown number two. Nor is he of balloon animals. Hmm. Capacity crowd on hand here tonight for the Lethal Lottery. Oh. I'll tag in the hard way. Pass the crowd on hand. The eighth and final random Lethal Lottery Tag Team match. Uh, these are uh, participants uh, 29, excuse me, yes, 29, 30, 31, and 32. We already have, actually, we were supposed to have 14 uh, into the Battle Bowl. We have 16 already. So now, with these two gentlemen, whoever comes out victorious, we will have 18 participants who have a shot at the PWA Heritage title in Battle Bowl, where you must start out in ring number one, which is on the right. 
the ring that the gentlemen are not in right now. You must be thrown from ring one to ring two, where you get a second opportunity because you've got to be thrown from ring two to the floor. Uh, the very the position that's held in high regard, if you are the last person remaining in ring one, you will enter ring two at any time of your choosing. So, uh, someone's really going to have an advantage on that one. Pater fans trying to get behind Dorton and Clowns. You see Aries coming around with a blow to the back of the head. Ooh. Ooh. Splash in the corner followed up by a clothesline. Anytime you're that big and you get momentum going, it is a tough wall to break through. As you see, Dorton and Clown cannot make it. Aries crawls over, drops an arm across, gets a two count. You know, for such a title to be up for grabs tonight, you've seen a lot of nonchalant coverage. You're right. Or, yeah, a lot of guys are lackadaisical. Um, certainly not uh, seeming all that motivated, you know. And that's what we were talking about, getting caught up in the aspect of who your partner is, who your opponents are. You, you may you may just be the in awe and shock, you know, of being in that position because you're out of your element, you know, in the lethal lottery. You're, this is something you're not accustomed to. Point uh, being, you know, uh, John Williams of the Washington Bullets, right there when he tags in, every time in his life he's used to tagging in Trey Williams. However, tagging in Aries that time. Nice running knee to the corner by John Williams. That's why he's one half of the PWA Tag Team Champions. He catches a drop kick on Dorian, gets a two count. You see Johnny Rage in the corner. Doesn't look Johnny like he's too excited Johnny. about what's Brad going on Johnny inside the Johnny ring. Johnny. Although his chances in, in going into the battle ball kind of rest on Dorian the Clown's shoulders right now as he's trying to get the fans involved in this last tag team matchup. Dorian the Clown number two trying desperately to uh, Get fans' momentum on his side. And Johnny Rage still steaming about that little ordeal. Uh, we're going to clown number two and into ring number one. Uh, trying to have uh, some cute fun here. Johnny Rage isn't about fun. Uh, I think the only good times Johnny Rage has is at the uh, making other people miserable. I think he and Cobra share that unenviable quality. Mothers never held them as they was children. Hmm. That has to be it. See, Williams got his leg dragged across the back of Dorian's neck as he's laid across the second rope. Here comes Aries coming across. Hmm. And the weight of his entire body just connected. Sizing them up. And once again, I, I don't I don't want to say Johnny Rage is melling in this tag team bout, but he's in no hurry to rescue his partner in a cover attempt. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's uh, taking that Congolese nightmare approach with this uh, ring apron. Looks like my feet are nailed down to it. Going to clown number two. Had about all he could handle. Uh, by Aries and John Williams here. Oh, I spoke too soon as a DDT. Going to clown number two. Now you see in your TV screen. Johnny Rage sees a chance to get tagged in. Now he's getting behind his partner, Dorton the Clown. As both competitors try to get in, Aries ties up the referee. Dorton tags in. Johnny Rage, probably the softest tag we've seen all night. And Johnny Rage is going to get stopped. Referee did not see the tag. In comes John Williams. Snapmare takeover. Is it a reverse headlock? We go from one successful tag to a non-successful tag.
Johnny Rage leading the uh, cheers here for Doink the Clown 2, apparently trying to get in on the side of uh, Doink the Clown number 2. Maybe Johnny's realizing, you know, I don't like this clown, to put it mildly, but I've got to work with him to, uh, to get my shot at the Heritage title. Once again, great camera work, as you see right there. Oh, Nate's been all over. Ray's looking a little disinterested, a little disheveled. But, you know, the action going on in the ring here. Kind of up and down like the weather here in Georgia. Very much so. Aries connects with a couple of big right hands on Dorton the Clown. And once again, right into your living room, folks. Clown has about much life in him as a raggedy and all, but he does manage to get his right foot on the bottom rope to stop the two count. Five minutes remaining in the match, five minutes remaining. Ten gone, five remaining. Every jumps at Dorn the Clown. John Williams on the outside, just clubbing away on Joint, and Johnny Rage is nowhere near in helping out his partner. side of the face. Now he's going to drag Dwight right in the middle. And four only gets a two count. Four minutes remaining. This crowd wants to see Dwight the Clown number two now to come back and they may get it here. Oh, both men. Going for the uh, high cross body. I tell you what, Cobra spent some time in the pit. I was gone a mere 30 seconds. Probably may not be back by the time we start battle day. Might get lost. It's not very good with directions. See Johnny Rage just walks away from the tag from Doink. Well, I'm not sure what Johnny Rage is doing because that cost him a chance at the PWA Heritage title. If you walk away, pal, you're kissing your chances goodbye. Looks like he's making his exit. I'm not exactly sure why. That's bizarre. Joint shows Aries in the wheels, and he gets the three oh, wow. count. And it looks like it may have worked out for Johnny Rage. He's in the back. But Joint number two picks up the win. Joint the clown number two and Johnny Rage, the final two entrants in the Battle Bowl. There will be 18. Folks, the main event is what you've waited for. 18 men get a shot in a two-ring Battle Bowl. Battle Royal, one man will walk out the PWA here at this gym. Time for Battle Bowl. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? here on Southland Sports TV. The main event, eight tag team matches have come to this Battle Bowl. A two-ring, double elimination, Battle Royal. 
The last man standing in ring number two will be the new PWA Heritage Champion after tonight. And once again, Shane knows I the most popular, unpopular guy <laughs> in this house. Yeah, the future, C.J. Austin, J-Rod, and uh, Crew Jones letting me know that uh, they will be a unified front. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. They all look alike. That's true. I heard that cackle. That can only mean one thing. The Cobra's back from the pit. <laughs> Don't get mad, Mr. Nose. It's all over said and done, baby. the cocky people and then we got everybody else and now all the action has started Shane Cobra I don't know how to call this I guess we just call it however we see it oh wow everybody gang oh. it up oh. the Congolese nightmare is already eliminated from ring number one that was how that was amazing his night is three quarters of the way over just one more top row to go over and he's going home empty handed Wow, that was smart moves by the other 17 competitors to go ahead and get <laughs> the big man in. I really thought the Congolese Nightmare would be the guy that would enter ring two any time of his choosing because he would be the last one remaining in ring one. Well, you got to understand now that when when whoever goes to ring two has got to have is waiting for a beating. Mm. It looks like Hughes. Awesome Hughes on the top rope. Yeah, Mr. Hughes. Wow, he, wow, Mr. Hughes already in the ring number two. Come on, ref, he was thrown out. Keep your eyes on the prize. These guys will try anything to stay in ring one. Now Austin's got Valentine on top rope. Valentine. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry, it's all right. Valentine with a couple knee shots, keeps himself in the ring number one. That'll bowl, certainly no place for uh, drop kicks, high cross bodies, because you could find yourself being given the old Ole into ring two or all the way out of the event. Stan Robinson is having some problem with the Congolese nightmare over there in ring two waiting on somebody to beat up. Doink! Oh! Doink the clown! Doink the clown number two! All the way over straight from ring two. one to ring two. And oh, he's gone. gone. Nightmare. He's gone. Doink he's a first participant out. Wow, he, he was in <laughs> ring two all of five seconds. You know, that could be an advantage for the Congolese Nightmare. If he's the only one in ring two, as soon as each person comes in, <laughs> he could send them back. Look at Congolese trying to help bring somebody in. Wow, going the Clown 2's chances. Well, ended rather prematurely. No, it was destined for that clown to go somewhere else. Well, guys, let's hedge our bets. I'll start with you, Bert. Uh, who do you think, who do you like in this deal? I'm going to go broad. I'm going to go and say it's a participant in ring number one, and I might even go to say it's somebody that you really don't want to be your champion. Well, that narrows the list. Yeah, very much Come so. on, Bert. I'm putting you on a limb here. You're one of the best in the business. You give me one of these 17 remaining men who's going to win this thing. I think, I think we're going to see a double champion tonight. I like my chances with J-Rod. J-Rod? All right, Cobra, I defer to you. I know you're scouting. Uh, well, like? And Steve Schreier found himself the Congolese Steven nightmare once again. Two. two feet over. Steven He's Schreier out. Steven has been eliminated from Battle Ball. All right, Cobra, I ask you with 16 remaining, the odds are in your favor. Well, Shane, man, you had talked about this before. I'm going to take the former champion, Crew Jones, because he never lost his title. So, who do you got, Mr. Nose? Well, my money's on the big man, the only one in ring two right now, the 405-pound Congolese nightmare. We've seen it, Doink the Clown number two, Steven Strider have entered ring two, and neither man has lasted longer than eight seconds. 
in there with it. So if he can keep that strategy up. Uh, oh, now there goes Stupid in the ring, too. Toss out by Valentine. See Anderson working on Jay Ross. Stupid has advanced to ring number two. And probably the most least interested man in this entire thing tonight, Johnny Rage working over Billy Knight. Wow, Stupid Johnny has already Sorrow remained in ring two longer than anybody else with the Congolese Nightmare. What a monster he is. Eliminated. Uh oh. I don't think shots to the head are going to work in Stupid's favor. No, Stupid don't have a chance. That's when they call him Stupid because he don't know no better. Wow. Uh, Mike Jackson just took a shot to the ear there. Andy Anderson, oh, Andy Anderson has advanced to ring number two. That's Mr. Awesome. Been stumped by the Prime Minister of Pain. Where's Stitch Cypher? Where are the, uh, where's Washington Bullet uh, Trey? I'm getting lost here in ring one. Daniel Alexander. Oh, there goes Johnny Slaughter. CJ Awesome has advanced to ring number two. Now we're starting to get a little bit of a disparity. Great split camera view there by uh, Patrick and Nate. There you can see action going on simultaneously in ring one and two. Both rings starting to get close to being even up here. A little bit better now for us to call it. Exactly. It's not a glob of men. <laughs> we were talking earlier about random tag teams. Now you're seeing people. Oh, there goes Mr. Hughes over into ring two. Mr. Hughes has advanced to ring number two. Hmm. And Mike Jackson getting wow. tossed over by J-Rod. Action Mike Jackson has advanced to ring number two. Well, you look at the, the people in one, and you look at the people in two, most of the people are young. Look at this. Looks like a razor's edge. Into, well, there goes Tommy Too Much. And now I'd say it's not too even. Too Much has advanced to ring number two. Actually, eight and seven by my count. There goes Frankie Valentine and Daniel Alexander. Wow. Frankie Valentine has advanced to ring number two. Billy Knight has advanced to ring number two. Daniel Alexander has advanced to ring number two. It almost seems Whoa. like the best strategy. Oh! oh! Johnny Rage. Didn't oh, quite clear that second to top rope. Oh, my God. He could be seriously hurt here. But Someone's Billy Knight does not care. I can't see. That's stupid. Stupid has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh wow, look at this. Only yeah. three Trey remaining ring ones. For the Washington Bullets has Looks advanced like Trey to ring number two. He's in that second ring. You got J-Rod, Crew Jones still in that first ring. Oh, look at this. A power bomb maneuver. Oh, there goes Stitch. Maybe, yes. Wow. <laughs> All right, they pulled him on over. Now, this is some of the Take a I'm look, on. Mr. Knowles, at number ring number one. You're right. Hedging our bets there, Cobra. Well, I said it, you know, whoever's the last man remaining in ring one. Gets to, Excuse uh, me, Mr. Knowles, I have a little problem I have to take oh. care of. Andy Anderson has been eliminated. And looks like J-Rod, J-Rod is now in ring number two. That only leaves Crew Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, now that Crew Jones is the last man in ring number one, he can enter ring number two at any time during this match. Looks like Crew Jones is going to take a little. What in the world is this? Is he taking a? It looks like he's taking notes. Drinking a little beverage, getting refreshed. Got some coffee in there. Like you said, he can enter anytime he wants. j Rye's working over on Mike Jackson. Andy Anderson has also been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Slaughter's on Billy Knight. See Alexander in the far corner, Tommy too much. He's working on Trey. Well, it, that it certainly narrows the dynamic here. We only have action to call in ring two, but... That's difficult in and of itself. Mm. See Hughes working on awesome. One clothesline. Oh. The second clothesline takes him out and over. Eliminated. JB. CJ Awesome. CJ Awesome has been eliminated 
from Battleborn. Drop kick in the back elbow. How many remaining in ring two, Bert? I'm uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm looking at about a dozen. Give or take one. Have any of our favorites been eliminated yet? Uh, Cobra had uh, Crew Jones, you had J Rod, I had the Congolese Nightmare. They're all still alive in this. See Trey from the Washington Bullets trying to work over Billy Nice. He's uh, oh look at Mike Jackson. He's got the Congolese nightmare. <laughs> Stand and it's saved by the referee. <laughs> you do not see that anywhere else but at PWA. <laughs> they have to put that broad a good use before this one's over. <laughs> got to cover those up if you don't want nobody messing with them. Oh, what is that? A flip into the corner by six. <laughs> Way to neutralize. Oh, wow. Trey super Williams. kick. Trey Williams just caught Stitch Stockton with that super kick. Maybe we shouldn't underrate, uh, underestimate Trey Williams. You know, he already has tag team gold. You know, Bert, you talk about J-Rock. Trey could be a double champion. There goes Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray. He's been eliminated. Been eliminated from Battle Bowl. By Mike Jackson. Those two have a story Ooh. to history together. Mm, double noggin knocker. <laughs> Is that chuckle? It's never a good sign. None of our favorites have been eliminated yet, Kobe. <laughs> the J. Rye setting up. What is Cruz? He throwing out personal messages to the crowd? Paper airplanes. Well, this is all one big joke to him, I suppose. Trey skins a cat. He mm -hmm. saves himself. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Hughes doesn't know where he's at. Mike Jackson leveling him with a right hand. The Congolese Nightmare just almost took Trey's head off. Mm -hmm. I saw that, though, bro. Since Cypher may be regretting those high-risk maneuvers as he's now been laying in the corner well over a minute. Not a lot of talk about Frankie Valentine. And look at this, test of power by Congolese. Mm -hmm. And he gets a right hand for the trouble. Mm -hmm. He's rocking a bit. Dang, you got you rocking there, young man. It looks, don't look good. And let's not forget, still in ring one, Crew Jones. Oh, wow, there goes Daniel Alexander and Trey Williams has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Paper airplanes. Daniel Alexander has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Congolese Nightmare trying to knock out Billy Knight. We're down to a final eight here. I think if somebody were smart, they'd get Congolese. That's there exactly comes what happened. Mike Jackson. There goes the Congolese Valentine. Nightmare and Billy Knight. And Billy Knight have been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Mm. Congolese not happy at all. Referees having a tough time. Uh, guys, we made a better watch out here at the broadcast position. They may come up this way. What are we down to, a final uh, five or six? Well, not counting Mr. Jones here. That's six and oh, two. Oh, Nemesis setting up something here for Slaughter. And Slaughter's out. Tony Slaughter has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. A low bridge. Mm. Menace took oh, out Slaughter. his own guy. Slaughter wants back in. Stan Robinson said, no way, Jose. Tommy Too Much has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. Oh, Tommy Too Much of the Exotic One's also gone. <laughs> it's starting to be slim pickings in ring number two. Oh, Billy Knight and Congolese, there's an issue there. They're still fighting over outside of ring one. Oh, look at this. Crew Jones with a drink in ring one eliminates Frankie Valentine. And Slaughter over the top rope, taking out a Congolese hey. nightmare. Frankie Valentine has been eliminated from Battle Bowl. So right now, Commissioner, see, we still got J-Rod. We got Mr. Hughes. Uh, Stitch Cypher, Frankie Valentine, Action Mike Jackson, and Steve Jones. 
Who will be the new Heritage Champion when this is all said and done? <clears throat> J-Rod setting up Ash and Mike Jackson. Looks like for a slingshot into the far turnbuckle. <laughs> Many fans on their feet here. Wanting to see the conclusion of this historic night. Oh, I thought Mr. Hughes was going to go. Cypher over, wants to wear him down a little bit, huh? Want to mention Crew Jones still uh, lounging in ring number one. Hmm. Well, my guy, Congolese Nightmare is gone, just like Burt and Cobra still have their favorites remaining. Oh. I stand corrected, Bird, as J-Rod has been eliminated. Has been eliminated. And there goes Cruz Jones. He's out of here. Oh, my God. What a quick turn of events. That's it. That's two of the most hated men in PWA have been eliminated. Ash and Mike Jackson is out. And there's only two men left. Two remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, the match is down to Stick Cypher and Mr. Hughes. The winner of this match will be the new Big State Heritage Champion. Mr. Hughes taking it to him. Irish whip into the corner. Comes up. Oh, wow. Shoulder block. Ooh. Arm drag takedown. A couple right hands are connected to Mr. Hughes. Reverse Irish slip. Misses with a big right hand. It's a oh, drop kick. For the drop kick. Come on, Hughes. Damn. What in the world? Well, action spilling out into the stand. As action continues on the outside, so is on the inside. Mr. Hughes here got Stitch Cypher. Oh, nice counter by Stitch. Looks like these guys are going to have themselves a match. Have a long night of tag team matches. It all comes down to these two. Indeed. And then there were two remaining. One of these men. We'll walk out with this title. This is very interesting. Oh, nice. Up to the top. Nice move by Stitch. There's no pin count. Exactly. Got to go over Stan, the top rope. Dan Robinson exactly right on it. Got to be thrown over the top rope. Stitch to the top here. Oh, missing the swanton is Stitch Cypher. If there was ever an opportunity for Mr. Hughes to take advantage of Stitch, this is it. These two have been going at it over five minutes. Oh, wow. wow. That clothesline wow. turned him inside. Yes, out. it almost Ooh. took his whole hand off. That's a clothesline you feel for a week. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we've got a 50 50 chance here. I'm going to go with Stitch Cypher. Uh, none of our favorites remaining. I'll yep. go with the young kid, Stitch. The crowd is getting behind him. You and everybody else. I'm not even going to ask Cobra. I know he's got total protection, Mr. Hughes. Yes, sir, I got the total protection. There's no pinfalls in Battle Bowl. How about you, Bird? Who are you wagering on here? I'm going to go wow. with a guy who's smart enough that there's not a pin count in this match. I'm going to go with Mr. Hughes, Hughes. simply because of the fact he's taller, he's bigger, he's got the muscle. And he's better. Just say it like that. Uh, I don't know. That's debatable. But we'll see at the end of the night there, Cobra. Oh, it's a wow. thumb to the eye. Thumb to the eye by Mr. Hughes.
Take him out, Hughes. Take him out. out. Behind Stitch Cypher. 80% of the fans standing up and 98% of them chanting for Stitch. And Mr. Hughes just slowing him down. Give him a beating, son. Give him a beating. This crowd standing on its feet, hoping, wishing for the young Stitch Cypher, merely 20 years of age, to become the PWA Heritage title. But he's in there with one tough customer. Oh, oh my God. Hughes misses with a Hughes. Oh, Stitch catches him with a kick to the back of the head. Mr. Hughes not having total protection in the groin area. Oh. Wow. Second. Bow legged here. He wobbly. Little wobbly knee. Connects with a third, and now Hughes goes down. Takes him off his feet. One of these two will be the new Heritage Champion. Get up, Hughes. This crowd slowly behind Stitch Cypher. Can he do it? Can he close? Can he seal the deal? Get up, Hughes. All right. And now, now. Now the cheerleading comes from Cobra here. This could be going for sliced bread. He got it. Mm. On a man at least twice his size. Mr. Hughes has held several titles throughout the world. Sitch Cypher has yet to be a champion. He could capitalize here tonight at Battle Bowl. Oh, wait, skin the no, bridge. And that's, and that's it. it. Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes. He eliminates Stitch Cypher, and he becomes the new PWA Heritage Champion. How you like them apples, Mr. Nose? How you like them apples? All right, go ahead and gloat, Cobra. All right. Walking and talking, graveyard destruction, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, your new Pinkstar Wrestling Alliance Heritage Champion, Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes is the new PWA Heritage <laughs> Champion. At the Look at this. We've got action going out here. It's Johnny Slaughter with the Wicked Nemesis. Well, he just throws Cypher back in the ring. This match is over. Hughes is the new champion. Not exactly sure why this is going on. Hughes is gloating over his new win. Prime Minister of Pain, sir. Mike Jackson. Here he come. He's I, got something to say. I about this. knew he was coming. It wouldn't have been Mike lie. Jackson. Take him out, Slaughter. Take him out. He should have stayed where he was supposed to be at. Hughes has already got the hat on with the title. It's a snap breaker. Mm. Mike Jackson going to town. Wait a minute, here comes J-Rod and CJ. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> this is pathetic. This uh, takes away from what I will say was a great win for Mr. Hughes. Oh, my goodness. They are laying in to Stitch Cypher. Mm. Here comes that Valentine Frankie from the right Valentine. side. He's going to come uh, in and try to make the save. Hughes is wondering oh what's God. going on in ring number two. Hughes, Hughes. Hughes has no clue. Oh, and now Crew Jones, of course. <laughs> I don't understand exactly why this is happening. Now it's Jay Rod taking on National Mike Jackson. Look at Crew what Jones. Is this, Tommy, too much. The exotic. What in the world? Chaos here. At the end of Battle Bowl, what is this? All 32 guys are going to get back in the ring again? Well, Everybody the bullets, the bullets. The bull this is crazy. The bullets are here. This is crazy. They come out of the tag team champions. He's going on Tommy too much. Mr. Hughes still doesn't know what's going on. All this action is going. It looks like the Battle Bowl has just started all over again. Bell is ringing, JB's ringing the bell, but nobody seems to care as all melee has broken out. It's awesome. And J Rod is met the, mom. The referees can't get in the control. They're they, walking away. They're they walking over. away. They can't handle it. Hughes is putting on his belt. Everybody is looking at get some help. It's walking around. Your, your, your referees are gone. They don't even make They're scared of everybody. I don't believe it. Destruction and destruction. What in the world is 
going on here. That, that, that's what's scared behind me. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I don't understand why this is still going on. This is over. I'm going to do something about this. All right, all right. Well, let me see what Shane Knowles is going to do, Bert. This is it. Watch what happens. Knowles is always going to run off at the mouth because he's scared of everybody. Look at him. Hey, look hey, at him. Look at him. It don't even make no sense. You had your shot. And your champion standing right here in ring one. Total protection, Mr. Hughes, is the new PWA Heritage Champion. What well, should be a great night by Hughes. Ring, it's been a long night. You had every opportunity to be the new champion. But I'll tell you what, you guys got some unfinished business to do. Well, you guys are just, you know, refusing to follow orders from the referee. I just put together a little something for March the 10th. You don't tell me too much, I'm going to single you out. What was your partner, Simon Sermon, tonight? Huh? Yeah, big man. I tell you what, I'm sick and tired of hearing you and Simon talk about we got shafted, we were robbed. I tell you what, you want one more shot at the Washington Bullets? It'll be your last shot, because March the 10th, you and Simon Sermon, the exotic ones, you get one more try at the Washington Bullets for the DWA Tag Team titles. But if you lose, you never get another shot as long as the Bullets carry those belts. Well, you hear that, Bert. That's a tag team championship against the exotic ones, Washington, Washington Bullets. That's going to be a whole lot of things going on yeah. that night. And that's you know, Marsh Tips. I don't think he's done. You like to make fun of me? You like to uh, have your dalliances at my expense? I know you look look good over here if you want to play airplanes and you know, getting a little bit of drinking coffee, but I still see you don't have a title around that tan, sexy waist of yours, do you? I'll tell you what, you want to get back in the title contention? Why don't you, on March 10th, take on so fine Frankie Valentine? You know what? Speaking of title defenses, Where's my least favorite champion in the PWA? Where's the hard man? Oh yeah, Mr. J-Rod. Hey, clean the wax out of your ears, chump. I'm talking to you. You now steal the Georgia Junior Heavyweight Champion. That is correct. I tell you what, you got unfinished business with a legend in this business. On March the 10th, you will take on action Mike Jackson in a no time limit, no DQ match. Easy, Mr. Potato Head. The only wax is between your ears and your quadruple X headset. I don't care if I don't have a belt. It's just like all these guys out here. You're paying the bills, and we're having all the fun with the women. And you ain't nothing but a woman. And I'll be making no matches. Who goes and put his, put his feet on somebody? Hey, crew, you want a title shot, March 10th? Is that what this is all about? You want a title shot? Well, how will you give you a title shot? i tell you what I'm going to do. I got all this solved. i tell you what, Clee Jones. You and all nine of these other guys get a title shot because, j Rod, we're going to put you both on the line in a 10 man battle war on March the 10th. Oh. If you're the champion you say you are, you beat these other nine guys and retain your title. Huh? You don't put your hands on me and call the shots around here. I still call the shots in Peach State. Frankie Valentine, Crew Jones is all yours March 10th. Action Mike Jackson, you got J-1. You know, J. Rod, you got two chances to retain your title, but you also got two chances to lose it, too. I'm not robbing you, I'm doing what's. Don't y'all want to see J. Rod have to put it up twice? That's the tip. And Mr. Hughes, congratulations for winning Battle Bowl. I can't say anything bad about you, but you'll be here March the 10th, and you'll make your first PWA.